Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, a very versatile overdrive pedal from Strymon. Let's get started. <laughs> Today we're checking out the Riverside Overdrive from Strymon. Now this is a very versatile overdrive pedal that can range from lightly broken up tones to very liquid, highly saturated tones. It also has some unique tone shaping capabilities as well as some nice control features. At its most basic, the Riverside pedal is as simple to operate as any other overdrive. We have a gain control that sets the amount of overdrive, and we have a level control that sets the output amount. We have a three band EQ that's post overdrive, so we can shape the low end, the mids, and the highs. Two additional switches give us high and low gain settings, as well as a mid-range push function. So let's check out some of the sounds, and then we'll look at some of the extended features of the Riverside. We'll begin with a low gain setting with the mid-push off. For this demonstration, I'm playing a PRS Modern Eagle 2, which has 5708 pickups. Those are slightly higher output PAF style pickups. We also have an Artist 15 tube amplifier. Here's our first tone. We're set at 25% gain, we're straight up on the EQ, and we're set to a low gain, and the mid push is off. For reference, here's our clean tone with no overdrive. Now I'll turn on the Riverside. You'll notice we don't have much breakup. At 25%, we're not adding a lot of gain. What I'm hearing there is a slightly fatter lower mid range. With this type of a setting, we could also use the pedal as a boost by turning up the output control. At this point, we're pushing the front end of the amplifier and not getting much saturation from the pedal. Now we'll put our level back to about straight up, turn our gain up to 50%. We're still at the low gain switch setting. We're starting to get a nice break up there that'd be great for a rhythm tone. Here's 75%. A nice chunky tone for rhythms, and that'll also give us a nice cutting tone for leads. Here's maximum drive in our low gain setting. Now I'm going to put the drive control or the gain control back to about 50% and we'll engage the mid push function. So here's without. Here's with mid pushed. You can hear that dramatically reshapes the mid range of the guitar signal and it also adds a little bit of compression and a nice drive as well. Now we'll switch the mid push off and we'll dial our drive back to about 25%, but we'll engage the high gain switch setting. Here's 50% on the drive in high gain. starting to get to a nice liquid saturated tone there. With the gain all the way up, we have tons of overdrive on tap. To show you what the mid push function sounds like when we're in the high gain setting, we'll dial back to about 12 o'clock. Engage the mid push. That really gives us a fat singing tone. Now we have other tone shaping capabilities as well. If we turn the mid push back off, we'll leave our gain set to about 50% high gain. We can bring up the low end.
tons of bottom end there, but because it's post drive, it doesn't get muddy and it doesn't get mushy. It stays nice and tight. Now let's dial that back. We'll bring up the mids. The mids are voiced right in that fat range where they really bring out the tonality of the guitar. And when you dial that back, you can get nice scooped mid tones. The high frequency control is also after the drive, so this allows us to really shape what's happening with the harmonic content way up high in the signal. Bring our mids back, turn up our highs. So we can add a lot of articulation and bring out those harmonics, or we can dial it back and smooth out the tone. With the three band post drive EQ, the two gain settings and that mid push, we have a very versatile pedal here that can take us all the way from lightly broken up or even clean boost all the way to super heavy saturation with tight bottom end, cutting top end and either pushed mids or pulled back mids. This allows the Riverside to serve in just about any style of music. Whether you're playing country, whether you're playing fusion, lightly distorted jazz, whether you want to play metal, classic rock, those tones are inside the Riverside pedal. But we have even more tone shaping capability. Let's set everything back to about 12 o'clock here. We have a three position presence switch. Now this affects the very top end of the signal. I've had this set to the lowest setting. If we bring that up to the middle setting. You can hear it's really bringing out those top harmonics. Now if we switch that over to the fully engaged setting. There's a ton of brightness there. So if you're using this pedal with a dark amplifier, you can certainly compensate for that using the presence control. Or if you have a bright amp, you can dial it back and smooth things out a bit. There are two other functions that are hidden in the front panel. When you hold in the bypass switch, the drive control becomes a noise reduction control. The level control becomes a boost control. You have up to 6 dB of post drive boost and this allows you to bring up the level for solos or for louder passages. You can control that using a foot switch jack on the back panel. Strymon has also included their favorite function with the Riverside. This allows you to store a preset on board. So let's dial this back. We'll set this up for sort of a clean broken up sound. Now we'll hit the favorite switch which will bring up our preset. This allows you to have two tones on tap and instantly switch between them. Or, by connecting it to a second Strymon pedal, you can control the favorite function on both pedals simultaneously, allowing you to have two completely different tones set up. Let me show you how that works. To use the remote favorite switching function, connect the boost jack on the Riverside to the expression pedal jack on, in this case, our Brigadier. So what I have set up here is pretty much a clean tone, a little bit of a crunch tone on a Riverside. A little bit more dry, maybe. Now when we engage the Brigadier, we have a short delay. But when I hit the favorite switch, the preset inside the Riverside will be called up and the preset I've stored in the Brigadier will also be called up. It's a very useful function that allows you to have two completely different tones on the Riverside and two different effects settings switching simultaneously. Now we can also reverse that and remote control the favorite function on the Riverside using the boost input and either a switch or another Strymon pedal. For further control, we also have an expression pedal input. Now that expression pedal can be routed to control any of the functions on the front panel. You can also set it to control the output level. If you're looking for a versatile overdrive pedal that can cover everything from light breakup to heavy saturation and has a ton of tone shaping and control functions built in, the Strymon Riverside is a great choice. It sounds awesome and can become an integral part of your rig whether you're in the studio or on stage. Thanks for joining me for this installment of Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects, and we'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher.